I actually just realized I need to make module one before I can make module two. How do you make mark one? God fucking damn it. We need nickel ore to get mark one, not kyanite. If we had this on the prawn suit, we could have probably gotten the kyanite without worrying about the prawn suit trying to squish up on itself. God damn it. So officially, in order to get it to work right, we need the plasteel ingot, two ruby, and three nickel. I at least can get those resources together. I've permanently got bubbles floating in my face. I got bubbles and smoke bubbling in my face. What the hell? That's all the stuff that I need for the one set of modules. Wiring kit and polyniline. Uh, how do I make polyniline again? Oh wait, uh, we're science, science. Hydrochloric acid and I think gold. Yep. Let's make several of these actually. And then last but not least, we need a wiring kit, which we've got a spare wiring kit. Now, we have all the materials and resources we need for the thermal generator option for the Cyclops. Thermal generator. Okay. That leaves me with those five total. We're gonna hold on to the rest of the Kyanite. I also did that because I don't quite know why the reason I exited out of this to begin with. And then I'm going to save before anything else. And I need to reload my game because... Oh. Particles are gone. No, they're not. There they are. Now I only know of one specific spot where we can get nickel. Ow. And I'm not gonna like it. But it might go part of my hunting stuff. Back on the deep dive again we go. And this time, I need to find places like these. Because somewhere in some of them, there's going to be crystallized sulfur. Another material that I actually need. I'm also going to try something out real quick. Aha! Look at it. It jumped up from six. It's going up. That's exactly why I wanted the thermal plant. Especially once we get to areas where we're surrounded constantly by lava. That's going to be a nice little restoration. So, I'm actually going to let this restore its power back to full. I will be right back. I'm going to get some water and some food. And with that, we are 100% recharged. So it's stuff like this that I need to look through. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Right there. That is what I'm looking for. This is crystallized sulfur. 
Well, Crystal Lynn Sulfur. Let's see those down there. Wait. Wasn't 100% ready for the drop yet, I just realized. Because here's the thing, with the drill arm and the grappling arm both active, I specifically don't have any method of actually grabbing stuff. So I need to take off the drill arm temporarily, then save, then drop into that. Because now, if I use this, I can now grab stuff. Now, I've never actually taken this inside. And I'm kind of hesitant on it. I'm actually really hesitant on it. We're fine. We're fine. So we are actually pretty safe in here. I apologize, I get nervous about stuff like that. Now, just so I don't have to make a repeat adventure, I'm gonna see how much crystalline sulfur I can actually get. Although, I think right off the bat, we have enough for this. Well, the rest of it's inside the prawn suit. But we have enough officially for another upgrade for the jet propulsion. So that means I can fly higher. This is actually the way I need to go. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Really, I couldn't have driven it any further forward. Absolutely nothing inside this pool. And now we've got this entire section over here. At our expo disposal to explore. Whoops. That's fine. Let's do this.
Time to explore these ones. you on and let's mine one of these two up okay we got this entire thing right here copper Silver. Ooh, wait, silver. There we go. Copper, copper. This is gold, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, more gold. I press on again. And now we're back at alien containment sites. Well, the D disease research facility. Okay. So this area right here is the main hub spot. And that is nickel. That is exactly what we need. There's more above me, too. So I'm pretty sure that is nickel. No, it's not nickel. This spot around here. This spot around here is where I last located nickel. Those two spots might not be nickel. I also just realized the temperature is causing my thing to repair itself. Nope, that's nickel. That's stuff I need actually. Yep, I needed that piece. Magnetite. Oh my god. We hit the jackpot. We hit the jackpot. Uh-oh. There's the other one.
Come on, I gotta find some more. Just a little bit more. Asking you shall receive. More nickel for me. Uh, this is titanium, and this is magnetite. More sulfur. And nickel. And more nickel. And more nickel. Silver magnetite. Silver, nickel, and this is more nickel. Found one instead of finding a whole bunch more. Kill all the blood crawlers. Oh god, they're everywhere. I go ahead and get these two big ores of nickel. And now's the time to hit back to our base because we've got a lot of stuff that we can do now and then I do believe once I do make it back to my base and I make the stuff then I actually probably will call it with the stream but again first things first make it back to the base We actually have too much nickel. Which actually is kind of a good thing because that means I never have to return back for more nickel. Okay, now the real fun begins. Death module one, we need two ruby, three nickel, and one plasteel ingot. All the other supplies except for the one nickel, well, not no, nickel, three nickel, are all there. Then, with this, we need titanium, five, lit two lithium, and three kyanite. And we officially cannot use any more kyanite. Now, exosuit upgrade. Next up, actually, we can actually use this. The last two of the kyanite and a wiring kit. Thermal reactor for the prawn suit. Last thing is the prawn suit jet upgrade. Five titanium, one lithium, two nickel ore, and three crystalline sulfur. So let's grab the titanium here. There we go. The Cyclops is all decked out. 